friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here today to talk about pineapple zucchini and black cherry zucchini and really any other flavor zucchini you want to make. And the really this started out with the fact that I had a lot of people sharing with me for the past couple of years about making pineapple zucchini and how you can take some pineapple juice and, and some of your excess zucchini so that it can be used as a replacement in anything you would normally use pineapple in. Now I've seen some people who will shred the zucchini and then make their pineapple zucchini out of that and that would be used in anything you would use crushed pineapple in so it would replace that and or you can chunk it up which is what I decided to do but with that I thought since I'm experimenting anyway and this is my first time trying it why not try making a black cherry zucchini and for that matter I haven't done this yet but here are some other ideas what about like this organic tropical passion fruit or the organic mango nectar you can get for a good deal on Costco for a whole gallon of it and try that now before you get started in experimenting with some of the different flavors one thing you do need to know and this is what I'm finding out through my own experimentation that the one reason why pineapple is popular it's already high in natural sugars higher than most of your other fruits but also has a more intense flavor than certain other fruits such as mango mango isn't a very intense flavor so your results with each fruit juice you try to use is going to vary depending on that fruit and the amount of sugar or acid that you add will also vary so following some very basic recipes I looked several different ones up online I went ahead and based my my recipe off of that including the black cherry now when I go to do the black cherry again I probably will do it again it has a nice flavor but I'll probably make some modifications to that but I'll talk about that in a little bit first let's talk about the basic recipe now I wanted to modify the size of the recipe to get a smaller amount since I'm only trying it out for one to see if I even like it and also wanting to try other flavors so the recipe I'm going to give you is actually halved and you can take that recipe and half it again if let's say you want to do four different flavors so this particular recipe will fill four pint sized jars like this so if your canner will hold is like mine and will hold up to eight regular mouth pint sized jars then what you can do is half the recipe I'm going to give you and so you'll have two jars of one, two jars of another, two jars of another, and two jars of another. Or if you just want two flavors like I did, then use this recipe and then use it for one flavor and then make it again for the other flavor. What I started off with was three pounds of chopped zucchini. Now I decided to go by weight rather than cups because if you shred it or you chop it, you're going to end up with a different volume at the beginning. It should cook down to be the same, so the weight is what matters. So what I did was I started with my batter bowl and put it right on my scales first. Then I turned my scales on. I started chopping up the zucchini and then adding it to the measuring cup until I got the amount that I wanted, which was three pounds. That's what I was looking at. And that eight cup batter bowl is actually the perfect size for holding three pounds of chopped zucchini now if you shred it it's going to take up less room so again make sure you're measuring it by weight for every three pounds of zucchini you have you want three cups of whatever juice you're looking at so again the most popular one is the pineapple and it does make a really great flavor so three cups of pineapple juice or black cherry juice like I used here or whatever juice you want to try to three pounds of your zucchini and as far as the sugar goes you're still going to need some sugar added to it partly for flavor but also to help with the preservation so for three pounds of zucchini you're going to want a cup and a half of sugar i know that sounds like a lot but i use one cup of organic blonde cane sugar so i use two parts of that and one part so, or a half a cup per flavor of the organic coconut sugar. Now the nice thing about coconut sugar for those who are trying to cut back on their overall sugar content is you're actually getting less sugar per cup of coconut sugar as you will with cane sugar because it's got all those minerals and stuff in there making up the difference. 
But in things like these, especially when you're looking at the pineapple, you might not want it to come out with too dark of a color. So the coconut sugar and certain other darker sugars that might be high in minerals will also change the color. So just keep that in mind. But if you're wanting more sweetness, you may still need to increase the amount of sugar you're using because the coconut sugar is not near as sweet as the cane sugar. And for the pineapple, I found that that amount was pretty much perfect. But when it came to the black cherry, I did have to increase the sugar content a little bit just to get a more intense flavor. And then also the other juice you're going to add is going to be lemon juice. I'm sure you could also do a lime juice. That's going to do two things. These tart juices are going to one, help bring out the flavor of whatever juice you choose to use, plus add more acidity to it for the purpose of water bath canning, because it's not a good idea to pressure can zucchini or it will turn to mush, but you can water bath zucchini and the sugar content and the acid in there is what is going to help preserve it. So when you go to do the water bath, it's only gonna take about 15 minutes up to 25 depending on your elevation. Make sure you always check your elevation when it comes to canning. We are at a very low elevation, so we always do the lowest amount. So for me to can the pints, it only took 15 minutes of water bath canning. So that's just boiling the jars in water. So then what you do before you put it in your jars, put all those ingredients into a pan and you're going to bring it to a boil and then you're gonna simmer it for 20 minutes because you really want to cook that zucchini as well as get all those flavors cooking into the zucchini because the canning time is pretty brief so you're going to need more of that cooking time in there once you've simmered it for 20 minutes you can at that point also taste it and see what you think see if you want to add a little bit more of lemon juice or lime juice or even a little bit more sugar to increase that flavor intensity because the other thing you have to consider when it comes to zucchini there's a lot of water in it and so that's going to kind of water down the juice a little bit so make sure you taste the chunks of zucchini to see how your flavor turns out. You warm up your jars first because this is already hot so you want your jars warmed up so you don't crack your jars when you put your hot ingredients in there and then also after you fill your jars make sure you work out the air bubbles before you put your lids on and then when your water bath can anytime you're going to do that you want to make sure your water level is at least one inch above the top of your lids and then bring it to a boil. If your jars are hot going in that water, make sure your water is hot enough. I always make sure the water is hot. So I've either heated it up a little bit first or I just put the water in the pan hot to begin with because you don't want hot jars going into cold water or cold jars going into hot water. They need to be the same temperature. Then bring it, bring that to a boil and then let it process for 15 minutes turn it off remove your jars let them cool and then test to make sure all your lids have sealed so and if you want more information on how to use the tatler lids because they do work differently than your standard metal lids i do have a video that i did just on that and it applies both to the old style tatler as well as the new easy seal style which years ago i thought the easy seal worked differently no you use them the same way they just, they're just made a little bit differently, but they all work great. So now let's talk a little bit about some uses, or at least how I plan on using it. So I'm, I'm going to try, in fact, probably today, making some creamsicles with some of this. I have lots of recipes on making creamsicles, but I do believe I have one on the pina colada creamsicle, and that's what I plan on doing with this. So I'm, instead of using pineapple, I'm going to use the pineapple infused zucchini in the creamsicles, Plus, I'll be adding some of the heavy cream powder because now I'm using the, the powders, the dairy powders, for giving it that creamy texture. I'll probably still add a little bit of uh, whole milk powder plus the heavy cream powder, like I did with the honeydew melon creamsicles, which I'll link to that recipe down below as well. So you can see how I did that using the powders, and it turned out great. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Another thing I read that people that did the shredded zucchini they use that to make zucchini bread so what they ended up with 
was a pineapple zucchini bread, which I think sounds really good. You could also throw some coconut into that as well to give it even more tropical flavor as well as more fiber and uh, health benefits because coconut's really good for you all the way around. And then with the black cherry zucchini, my plan for this was to try using it in making fried cherry pies. So if you've never made, I don't know if I have a recipe, a video recipe out there yet on making fried pies. The only difference is you're just making your pie crust and shaping it like you would a turnover or an empanada for that matter. And then uh, put your filling in there, fold it over, press it down with a fork, and then you just fry it in some coconut oil. And boy, it's delicious. It makes a really good pie. Obviously, it's going to add more calories, but it is really good. So you can make these little uh, handheld pies out of that and that's what I plan on trying with the black cherry zucchini and I think I am going to go ahead and experiment with some other flavors but again keep in mind you got to tailor it to suit you so taste as you go you might need it more sweet or less sweet you might want more lemon juice in there but I don't recommend going with less because even though the fruit juice itself is acidic the zucchini is not. So that's part of the reason for the addition of the lemon juice is to bring that acidity up so that you can water bath can it and it will be safe. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and my recipe. I'll try to make sure that I put the written ingredients and amounts down below. But again, remember, tailor that to suit you and come up with some ideas of your own using different types of juice be it cherry or plum or whatever it is that you have on hand and see what you think you might even want to just try making little small amounts because that's what i did at first was made little small amounts and tried it to get an idea what i thought of the flavor and if i was even going to like it first okay so go ahead and share some of your ideas down below and also don't forget i have a video out there that has a lot of information on the other many uses of zucchini I'll put down below plus a lot of great comments under there about some more many uses of zucchini. Alright well thanks for watching, take care and God bless.